So we're going to get you down into the upper 20s to low 30s near freezing for most of us through early tomorrow morning. We're also seeing temperatures at 46 in Greensboro, 45 in Reedsville for highs. So that was cooler than yesterday. We had some upper 50s yesterday, if you remember, and a little bit more sunshine today. Harder to get that sunshine going through 49 typically this time of the year. So it is a cooler spell the first day of winter after all. Yeah, we are now expecting to see some gradual warming at times tomorrow. This is all going to be sunshine dependent where you see a little bit more sunshine. You could work your way into the lower 50s, possibly up through Burlington until those clouds settle in for late afternoon. That's when we'd expect to see some cooler temperatures start to take hold. 48 degrees around 6 o'clock. Those clouds also acting as a blanket, so smaller temperature drops late tomorrow night but increasing rain chances. 29 degrees in the mountains will take you all the way to 48 and rain chances there also at 20%. Similar conditions in the foothills with highs expected near 50. This is what's got us going right now. We've got some of those thinner high clouds out there across the triad and point south and thicker clouds. Those are starting to stream in from the south and we're going to continue to look at those shower opportunities mainly late afternoon. It's going to take a little while. We've got a ridge of high pressure kind of sitting out here, stretched out across the Ohio River Valley. And so with that, we're expecting to see a slow movement with those showers. Could be two, three o'clock before you get a little drizzle trying to get going or a passing shower. Most of this moves in, though, as we go overnight Sunday into your Monday morning. And by the Monday morning time frame, we could be so talking about some soggy conditions. Our rain chances increase. Montgomery right now, Birmingham, they've got the heavier rains. This is an upper level low and a surface feature with a front down to the south bringing in these good soaking rains. So we've got Gulf moisture, we've got Pacific moisture that are all helping to bring in these flood watches. This is up for folks in Georgia. So if you're traveling there tomorrow, you know, taking 77 to 85 down south, you're going to want to watch for that straight through South Carolina and along I-95 too, as we're expecting more rain to push east into the Florida Panhandle. Good soaking rains, all thanks to good juicy moisture. You can see here higher moisture content as we see it streaming across the southeast. This will mean rain likely from Sunday night into Monday for most of us across the southeast. So if you're traveling in that direction to the south, and then the question is, how far north does the rain make it as we go into your Monday? We expect some scattered showers to lift out through the day, mainly afternoon. Once we get you into three o'clock, a little drizzle could start. We're looking at more showery action overnight and heavier downpours could stay south. So the extent of that low and the track of the low will determine how much rain and if we get anything up in the northern Piedmont, some parts of the tri could be a little bit less rainy now as it's looking into Monday. We'll definitely all see the clouds. That's one thing we'll have going for us by Monday, upper 40s to near 50. But look at this, the transition of that low, if it's pushing a little bit farther east and south, we may miss out on the good bulk of the rain as we go into the afternoon hours though some heavier rains possible pulling away more quickly missing parts of the northwestern mountains and the western foothills. So we'll be watching the track of the slow. That'll be important to determine how much rain. Notice though those temperatures really coming up nicely upper 50s to near 60 for your Christmas Eve holiday as well as Christmas Day with good soaking rains on the way too. more than a half an inch to an inch and a half. If you're in the southern Piedmont, Christmas outlook is warm and dry. The seven day forecast for your Piedmont sheet metal forecast shows you dry conditions straight through Friday.